good? More or less. She been flissed so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Duke to Alex, Duke to Julia. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. this picture.
How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than... What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first? <laughs> Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> 
Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? In the look of things, they knew they were goners. You hear that? Let's check it out. <laughs> whoa, whoa! I think I went my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. something.
That's a great reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia, we gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now! Go! Go! Hey! What the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. 
and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. I was surprised, you know? I kinda wasn't sure how to respond. Julia, is there something we need to talk about? Oh my gosh, Alex. I was just shook up from the plane falling apart around us. That's all. No biggie. Okay, cool, cool. I'll go find Brad and everybody. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. That's one, I'm not that sappy. Two, I was talking about men. Still, we're over the top, bro. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. 
I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat, horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out.
Me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady.
Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Oh! 
Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? 